Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 19, Leçon M and we'll see together in this lesson les verbes du troisième groupe and more precisely we'll see together how to conjugate uh, the verbs that are ending with dre and indre at the present form because they can be quite tricky okay so let's start um, so the first group i thought it might be interesting to take a quite common verb attendre and attendre means to wait okay so attendre and for the second group so the Indre group will see the verb craindre. Craindre is to fear. Okay, so attendre and then craindre. Okay, but then, then let's start with attendre. So basically, you've got your ending dre. Okay, so the verb is attendre. And the thing that you get to keep in mind is that in that case, you will take air -e away. Okay, so you will get j'attends. And then for tu, it will be tu attends. For il, elle, il attend. For nous, nous attendons. Vous attendez. Ils attendent. Elles attendent. Okay, so if you look carefully, basically you can see that the infinitive form is attendre. Okay, and as I told you, then you take this air -e away. Okay, so you will get this form, A-T-T-E-N-D. And after that, you will basically add the endings. So for je, it will be S. Okay, and that's the reason why you've got this attend like that. So D, and then you just add this S. For two, it will be also S. Okay, same form. Then for il, elle, don't put anything. Okay, so that's the reason why you've got the, the basic form. Then for nous, the classic ending, O-N-S, okay? For vous, you will have E-Z, okay? So that's the reason why you get this attendez form. And for il, elle, you will get E-N-T. Okay, so that's the way uh, that, well, these verbs ending with dre will be conjugated, okay? So you get j'attends, tu attends, il attend, elle attend. Nous attendons, vous attendez, ils attendent, elles attendent. All right? And, well, if you think about the verb attendre in that case, let's see the verbs that will be conjugated like uh, attendre. Okay, so répondre, for instance, confondre, descendre, défendre, entendre, perdre, Prétendre, rendre, répandre, tendre, vendre, and other verbs as well. <laughs> okay, but the, I cannot uh, make the, the full list. Okay, so these verbs will be conjugated like attendre. Okay, but then I'm pretty sure that, uh, well, you are expecting uh, some translations here. Okay, so that's the reason why they are coming now. So, répondre, it's to answer. Okay, confondre, to get mixed up. Descendre, to go down. Défendre, defend. Entendre, to hear. Perdre, to lose. Prétendre, to claim. Rendre, to give back, répandre, to spread, tendre, to stretch, and then vendre, to sell. Okay, so these verbs will actually be conjugated uh, just like attendre uh, was conjugated a few minutes ago. Okay, so répondre, confondre, descendre, défendre, entendre, perdre, prétendre, rendre, répandre, tendre, and then vendre. Okay, but as you know, like almost all the time in French, we've got some exceptions. Okay, and uh, of course, the verb prendre, and it's quite used because it means to take, is an exception. Okay, so even if it's ending with dre, 
well basically it won't behave like attendre um, that we we saw previously okay so let's see how it goes so there uh, prendre you've got to remember that the forms will go like that je prends tu prends il elle prend nous prenons and here you can see the difference vous prenez and the last one is quite tricky because it's il elle prennent okay so basically you double the n here and it will give you a uh, um, well different uh, sound here because you get to open the sound so it's pre pren okay so let's see that one more time je prends tu prends il prend elle prend so if we look carefully actually we get i mean these forms are pronounced the same okay then we get nous prenons Okay, keep in mind that you should pronounce it pre, pronon, vous prenez, and then the last one, the tricky one, ils prennent, okay, ils prennent, all right, so basically remember that pronon, prenez, and then prennent will be different as, uh, well, the forms that we had for uh, attendre, for instance, okay, and uh, well, when we speak about prendre, actually we've got the verbs apprendre, comprendre, entreprendre, reprendre, surprendre, and few others. And these verbs will actually be conjugated as prendre. All right, so let's see what they mean. Apprendre means to learn. Comprendre, understand. Entreprendre, begin doing something. Reprendre, to take again or to take back. And then surprendre, surprise. Okay, so keep in mind that these verbs will actually be conjugated like prendre. All right, and so now let's see the second main category that we had, and it's indre. And the verb, the example that we will take is craindre, and craindre means to fear. Je crains. Tu crains. Il craint, elle craint, nous craignons, vous craignez, ils craignent, elles craignent. Okay, so you can see that for nous, vous, and then il, elle, and the plural form, it is quite tricky because you've got this g, n coming right here, and then the sound is craignons, okay, you get the ny, ny sound, okay, craignons, craignez, Craignes, okay, but then if you remember to put it here, so the good news they say is that it, it will come for nous, it will come for vous, and then it will come for il, elle, and the plural form. So je crains, tu crains, il craint, elle craint, nous craignons, vous craignez, il craigne, elle craigne. All right, so keep in mind that ending will be s s and then t okay but then phonetically as you know you pronounce them the same crin 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 okay then o n s craignon craignez a z and then craigne a n t And of course we'll see few verbs that will be conjugated like craindre and they are atteindre Contraindre, éteindre, joindre, peindre, plaindre, teindre, and few others. Okay, so, atteindre, contraindre, éteindre, joindre, peindre, plaindre, teindre. And so let's see what they mean. Atteindre, it's to reach. Contraindre, force, constrain. Éteindre, turn off. Joindre, join, combine. Peindre, paint. Plaindre, pity, complain. And then teindre, die. Okay, and so keep in mind that these verbs will be actually conjugated the same way as uh, craindre is conjugated. All right.